from Cali FPV. Every time I record, thank you for a $5 super chat, Cali FPV. Every time I record videos on my O3 Air units, it splits them into two video files if they're longer than three minutes. That's um, because, like, uh, so I assume that when you format the card, the video, the, the SD card, I assume it uses the XFAT file format. Uh, I'm not 100. I, I would guess it does. And the maximum file size is, like, 4 gig. So if you're recording, like, I don't know why it's three minutes exactly. It depends on the resolution and the bit rate that you're recording at. But once the file reaches 4 gig, I'll bet you if you look, you'll see that those files are all 4 gig. There's no way around this. Um, the XFAT cannot handle files bigger than 4 gig or whatever format it's using can't handle files bigger than 4 gig. So it breaks them up. I, I, should, I should back up. I don't know for sure. Maybe it's, I don't think, I guess fat, it could be FAT32. I just recently learned that FAT32 can handle up to a two terabyte uh, file system, which I, I assumed FAT32 could handle 32 gig. You know, that's why they call it FAT32. Apparently not. Um, so I, I, I'm actually not like super knowledgeable about file systems. And I should, maybe I'm saying wrong things about XFAT versus FAT32. Maybe I should just back away from that ledge a little bit and not sound stupid. Um, but uh, the bottom line is that the four gig is the maximum file size that it's going to make. There's no way around that except to record in a lower resolution then the files will last longer before they reach four gig. But here's the thing. You should be able to put those files in your editor, bump, 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 one by one. They should be 100% seamless. Like literally it should be absolutely not even one frame of skip or stutter or overlap. If you put those files into an editor, one after the other, they'll just play completely seamlessly. You can edit them, you can join them, you can do whatever you need to do. Everybody does that though, not just the O3. GoPros do it, et cetera, et cetera. So, there's no workaround, but also that's it's just a limitation to the file system. Um, if you have a GoPro, if you install the GoPro Labs firmware, I think there's an option in the GoPro Labs firmware to have large files larger than four gig. Um, I don't know if that really helps you. Uh, people are telling me that it's FAT32 that has the four gig file size limit. Yeah. Anyway, 